Hello. Today, we will be looking at the ERP Magento 2 Auto Management module. This module is part of the embedded ERP package, but is fully functional on its own. During this presentation, we will be returning to the supplier menu's new features. Define suppliers. For each supplier, we will be managing general information. The emails. The module will send emails directly to the supplier with a PDF attachment. Here, you select the language and the address. There are different configurable parameters, such as the minimum order and carriage free amount, which will display an alert if they are not met by default in the quote. During the creation of a new supplier order, the currency will automatically be retrieved. We can manage a database of contacts and associate suppliers to products in order to ease the creation of orders. Associate products to suppliers. Not compulsory. However, once all suppliers have been defined, we may then associate products to the suppliers. The benefit of this would be to define certain information such as the supplier reference. The product SKU is different to that of the supplier SKU. To communicate the order to the supplier, we will be using the supplier SKU. Defining purchase price. The same product may be available from multiple suppliers and may have multiple purchase prices. A minimum order quantity. A minimum order quantity of which we may not go below when placing an order in bulk. For example, bottles. Purchase in packs of six. Supply needs. These are all the products the system suggests need replenishment or purchasing. These are all the products the system suggests need replenishment or purchasing. There are two criteria which will force a product onto this list. The first criteria, the product is not in stock and has been sold to a customer. The second criteria, product is available but you have defined a minimum stock level. If the current level is below it, the system will automatically display the product. For each product, we will find two important pieces of information, the quantity of back orders and the quantity to be received. The system will then suggest a quantity to order by giving you a status. The first concerns merchandise to be purchased due to back orders. The second concerns merchandise to be purchased due to low stock quantities relating to minimum stock levels. From here, we will be able to define a minimum and maximum quantity of products to be purchased or define an arbitrary quantity. On this screen, it is possible to filter by supplier. For example, display only products that we must purchase from Alibaba. Creation of supplier orders. Once you have made your selection, you may then proceed and create the supplier order. Here, we have created a new supplier order based on the supply needs. However, you may still create an order from nothing and add products manually. At the supplier order stage in the general information section, you will find the associated supplier, a status to follow up on the progress of the order, a customizable reference, and an estimated time of arrival. It is possible to define a warehouse for receiving. By default, this will be the default warehouse. With embedded ERP, you may then further define which warehouse to send to. In the miscellaneous section, you will find the currency which the supplier uses, the exchange rate if the base currency differs from that of the supplier, shipping cost, additional cost, tax rate, tracking numbers, shipping method, and data relating to the compatibility, such as the order number of the supplier, the invoice, or otherwise. When we create an order with multiple products, the products will automatically be added. We will find in the listings the product reference of the supplier, if it has been defined, the quantity to buy, if the product needs to be bought in a bundle, 
For this example, it is not the case as the quantity is set to 1. The quantity received, currently, nothing has been received. The purchase price, at discount, the total cost of the order. Over on the right, you have the information concerning the margins. Here, the sales price, and here, the cost, which includes the purchase price of the product, the shipping cost, and other costs, and also the generated margin. There are filters by supplier, name, and other options. We may additionally add products manually or import and file. Once the order is complete, we must then save it. The following step will be to notify the supplier. We have two solutions. Either we click on the print button, from here we may download the order as a PDF, integrating all the information, or we can click on the button notify. This email contains all of the information on the order which is sent directly to the supplier. This link allows the supplier to receive the PDF of the order. receiving the order. A few days later, you will receive your products. Return to the supply order and click on the button receive. This interface allows you to manage the reception of the products and is compatible with barcode scanners. For each product, we may either enter the quantity manually or do so by using the barcode scanner. By scanning the product, the system will identify the corresponding reference automatically and adjust the quantity. In the event we scan an unknown barcode, an alert will pop up to notify you that the barcode is unknown. There are two possible reasons. Either we have scanned the incorrect barcode, a product whose barcode we do not already have, or this is a new barcode which we can choose to assign to the product. If we rescan the system, we will then identify the product. Once the quantity of products have been integrated, click on save and the system will automatically create a delivery and update stocks. With embedded ERP, you will have an enriched image of stock movement. Here we find the percentage of movement which is updated and in the reception tab, the reception is visible and can be printed to store products in the warehouse. Here is the reception PDF. With embedded ERP, it is possible to integrate specific areas of the warehouse to simplify storage. Once the order is complete, we will either have received all the products and the status delivery process will automatically complete to 100% or there are still outstanding products at which point you may return to the order to allow for a new reception. Once the order is complete, we will either have received all the products and the status delivery process will automatically complete to 100% or there are still outstanding products at which point you may return to the order to allow for a new reception. The final element, products in transit. The products which are in transit are the products that are to be received. Here is a list of all the products with the quantities to be received and the supplier order it concerns. The presentation for the module Embedded ERP Procurement Management is now over. Have a good day and feel free to watch it again.